Hello folks, uh, made a brief video this morning to show you how I took a, uh, uh, a cheap Harbor Freight wireless security alert system that's about 15 bucks uh, and made a, uh, a uh, 12 volt DC uh, wireless security system for my cargo trailer. Uh, what this system will do is it will basically, it's a driveway alert system, but it'll work up to about 400 feet away let me know when I'm out in the woods if something of a decent size is approaching my camper. Uh, just allows me to uh, to look out. I got some cameras. I'll have in a later video. I'll show you how I made a wireless camera, uh, and uh, in addition to the windows, and I can turn floodlights on and look out. But this will give me a an early warning of something outside the camper that's bigger than your average raccoon. I'm thinking man size, bear size, that type of thing, uh, just so I can get a look. But anyway, uh, let's get let's get at it. Okay, so this is a system. It's a Bunker Hill uh, security wireless security alert system, and uh, like I said, I, you see these things on sale. Um, you know, pretty cheap. Uh, you know, I think they're normally like nineteen dollars on some change. I think I actually got this one for twelve dollars on some clearance. Anyway, what these things normally take is the uh, the, the alarm itself takes C size batteries, uh, three of them, uh, and uh, the thing run. Or you can put a six volt uh, adapter on the plug it in and plug it into a wall somewhere. Uh, 110 volts AC. Or, yeah, and I wanted to run it off 12 volt off the you know my cargo trailer. I didn't want to have to plug it in or the inverter on or anything like that. So I, I'll show you how I, I converted this to 12 volt. In addition, I want you to notice something on these boxes. These are wireless and they transmit on a, a frequency of about 433 megahertz, as it says on the box. But there's a channel number on channel 17. So these little uh, infrared sensors, and this is what it looks like. Uh, these things uh, also have a thing on channel 17. So if you went down to Harbor Freight. Uh, and looked at the boxes and got a couple of them with channel 17 you could take the infrared monitor part and have multiple infrared monitors for this system uh, and again you you know pay anywhere from 12 to 20 dollars per sensor if you have to buy the whole thing uh, it's cheap enough though so right now I have just one sensor that works it with with it so it'll be out you know it'll come out from the door going out that way but I could put one on the outside the rear and the front if I wanted to I just have to buy additional sensors but the key is here to buy one that'll say channel 17 because this thing is uh, pre-configured for channel 17 and a 433 megahertz. Uh, I've got a 433 megahertz transmitter in my uh, ham radio uh, gear. I'm going to key it up later and uh, see what it does to this thing. But anyway, let me show you how I actually converted this from a 6 volt or the battery to the uh, 12 volts. Okay, so here we are. Here's the actual uh, unit. And uh, as I said before, you could buy a 6 volt uh, adapter and plug it in 110 volts AC if you have an inverter thereby skipping this mod but I wanted to be able to run off 12 volts and so if you look at this thing this is where the uh, 3C batteries go and what I did and I got another one here because I got two of them I got these two of them for $11.99 you can get it for about $7.99 for one of these things out on uh, eBay or uh, or uh, Amazon this is what they call a 12 volt to 6 volt buck converter so if you was to Google that uh, or search for that out on eBay or uh, Amazon you'd find this but basically you hook the black and red up to your 12 volt source and you hook the the, uh, the yellow is the positive output which would be 6 volts in this case in the ground so all you really have to do is come into the uh, battery box here and uh, what I did was I also bought this was $7.99 a little 12 volt cable the on and off ones so you can plug just any cigarette uh, 12 volt outlet and I brought the wire in. I drilled a hole in the side of the box, run the wire in, and before you solder it up, tie a knot. And the reason why that is so when you pull on this, the wires can't come back out and stress them. But anyway, so you, you uh, connect the red to red and black to black uh, on this 12 volt wire in the buck converter itself. That's your input. Your output, you're gonna uh, connect up. And so you can see what I did it was this yellow wire. This was the positive uh, output and the negative uh, on the uh, on the battery input so you're going to put the negative on this uh, terminal up top top right if you're looking from the bottom and a positive will be on the bottom left and you literally just take some solder and solder the wire onto the thing you can see how i did the yellow wire there it's down on the bottom left i had marked that positive if you can see that blue ink down there and you can see the black wire soldered on where the battery uh, negative part of that battery would go and uh, so there's three uh, batteries that go in there uh, you know uh, in series which is kind of interesting because it's really about four and a half volts. I didn't try to run this off five volts on one of those USBs uh, converters. Probably could do that, but I figured I'd just run the six volts it's looking for. In any case, uh, so that's all there really is to it. You put the cover back on it, and uh, voila. Now you can still uh, you can still uh, 
plug it into 6 volts if you want or take the wires off and put it back to 12 volt or the uh, batteries if you wanted to. So you're not really destroying this thing. The only thing you're really doing is soldering two wires on and drilling a hole in the side. Uh, the other thing to note here though, the sensor, it, is, it runs off a 9 volt battery that goes in the back and these will be remote. I can put these, uh, for instance, on trees pointed back at my camper to give me a much wider scope. It's 120 degrees, but it's up to 400 foot away. So literally I could get the front, the back, and the side, uh, the, you know, one side with one of these and I could get the whole other view from another one. So they don't necessarily have to go on the camper. So I want to run this with batteries. This little light comes on if the battery's low. So normally you wouldn't see that, but if you look out at night to where this is and that light's on, it'll, it'll be warning you to change the battery out. But I've had these before for a, a driveway monitor and they actually, uh, they run a very long time on nine volt battery. So I'm gonna get one of those high output lithium nine volt uh, batteries that you can buy. It'll last a good long time. Uh, it's not really doing a whole lot when you're not, it's not transmitting, so you just put it in the box and put it in the drawer and, or just disconnect the battery and uh, just take it with you when you go camping. So anyway, what I'm going to do with this thing is I'm actually going to glue a magnet on the back of it. Uh, so my trailer has got steel uh, uh, joists in it and I'll be able to stick it on the camper, uh, you know, front, back or whatever. I probably am going to pick up one or two more sensors uh, and uh, that'll be it. So you can configure it how you like, but this is just a way to take a cheap... Uh, you know, motion sensor, wireless security alert system that some people use for driveways and such, and make it so you can run it off a 12 volt outlet in your, your cargo trailer or however you choose. Um, I think the magnetic mount here will be handy because I can just stick this anywhere. Uh, and then I can still use a little nail hole if I want to put it in a tree, just tack something into a tree and put it on. Anyway, that's it. So uh, please like and subscribe, and I hope this was helpful to you. So long.